So guys, what is up? We are back in Don't Starve Shipwrecked, and last we left off, we, uh, li little, yeah, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of trouble there. We're not gonna be messing with that. We are flying, not flying, we're swimming our way back home, and, uh, you know, doing everything in our power here to be efficient. Speaking of efficiency, we should probably drop something here, because we got a lot of stuff, and honestly, we don't need all of it. This monster meat's just spoiled at this point, so... I just uh, honestly I'll drop it. It's whatever we can get some more at any time I just want to get some seaweed because apparently seaweed's very good and uh, uh, Monster meat I should be eh, mm, eh, ah, We'll be fine Just another challenge although I know that I'm going to get yelled at in the comments for doing that I wanted to start picking some seaweed because from what I've been told Seaweed is quite important and actually quite amazing in this game So I want to make sure to absolutely stockpile on this while we got ourselves the chance I wouldn't mind trying to catch me a jellyfish soon, too. Uh, this raft is coming apart. We need us some food and What might be a good idea is to get us some more monster meat So in order to do that we might want to oh hey look at all the crabs that are back Looky 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 dare well before we do and mess around with the crabs a little bit Let's get everything that we can here, not the ice, because we can't quite get that right now. And we got ourselves some meatballs waiting back at base. Let's get that bad boy. And let's just munch on that right away. We get our health up a little bit, get all of that stuff up. And uh, we are left with a couple of things. I think we can do three limpets and something. Um, I forget the exact recipe. I gotta... I gotta memorize this shit, man. It's like three limpets and a monster meat, I think, and we can get something good. Or if we do a... It's combinations of meat we can do. One thing we might want to do, though, is get another survival, get another trap going. Since, by the looks of it, uh, didn't we have a lot more grass? Maybe we put it all away? I don't know. Either way, perfect time to store some stuff in one of these chests because we have a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, potentially we could put away those. We can just put the log suit down. And then I do want to go ahead... And plant wherever it is. Hold up, do we have rocks in our inventory? I want to maximize our space. Uh, we want to plant these spider eggs somewhere. Potentially nothing too close, uh, but a little bit, little bit close to home here, so we can do something with it. And by that, I mean we can just have it kind of existing, and uh, we can venture up there. We'll probably just put it honestly in the same place, and that way we can just venture up here whenever necessary, and get ourselves a little bit of monster meat already. It is getting a little bit- Ah! Spooky, spooky, spider, spider. Ah, stay away from me, even though if we just equip ourselves a one of these, we should be able to kill this pretty quickly, and just bully it flat out, and get ourselves more silk. Look at that. Can we summon the wrath of more spiders, potentially? Like, I, I would love to- There we go, we got another spider. All I want to do is kill these and potentially get ourselves, like, one monster meat. That'd be really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'll take a little bit of damage. I'm YOLO, it's whatever. There we go, we got ourselves that monster meat that I was looking for. And, uh, hold up, we'll bring this back. I think we got a chest full of this stuff. And, uh, we got ourselves some logs to keep us going through the night, so that is good. We got ourselves a little bit of the seaweed. And I do want to build, I do want to chop down some of these trees and get to work on that better boat so we can explore a little bit more. Question is, is that the one that had the... That's the one that had the glands. There we go, we're up to seven. Jesus, it's a lot of glands. Um, in the meantime, let's take one of these axes. We'll, we'll take all of the axes. JK, um, wow. This is not doing too hot. Uh, oh wait, first things first, let's actually get cooking with the monster meat here. If we could pick up some of this ice that's out and about too, that would maximize what we can do. Uh, damn it. We gotta drop something. Uh, venom gland. Do we have an extra venom gland lying around here, or can we at least... We'll at least put it away then. My inventory management is ass, I understand that, but... Hopefully we can get those boards put away, uh, in just a little... Oh, that's about to go bad. Anyway, whatever, let's... Let's eat it, that's not a big deal. Hopefully it hails one more time, because that thing is really useful. If not, though, we do need to adventure somewhere. We gotta find some new islands, because we need some goddamn gold. Seriously, we are in dire need of some gold, so we can make that ice maker and solidify our, uh, our... Ooh, a watermelon. I know a watermelon's good for something, so we're not gonna be doing away with this thing quite yet. Uh, we will throw a couple of our seeds in there. We'll put our extra seeds in... One of these, unless they rotted. Nah, they're doing all right. So we got ourselves that snakeskin hat we can do something with whenever. Uh, cut grass. We want to collect a lot of that. Let's actually take this opportunity to pick ourselves some of that grass because we're going to be needing that for pretty much anything and anything that we do. Wherever our hatch... Yeah, wherever this is. Let's chop down a couple of these big trees. 
and get ourselves some logs. So at the very least, we can use these logs for fire and also to craft up a couple of those boards to make ourselves a nice cargo ship. Cargo ship is, uh, it's, that's a pretty big goal right now because that will let us be a little bit more mobile and uh, do a little bit of exploring just because it's a cargo ship so we can have a little bit of inventory space. It's like a mobile chest. But we can also, you know, sail that chest, which is pretty dope. Okay, we got an egg. There's a nice egg recipe that I completely forget about. Why do I do this to myself? Honestly, why am I such a bad person? Oh my god, I... Ah, uh, ah, uh, what can I, can I pick something up instead and drop it? This nitrate, let's, let's do that, combine the stack. There we go, beautiful. Uh, however, nighttime's about to hit. So we should probably, uh, yeah, no, that's gonna, ah, mm, I could have made it, but let's not risk it. It's... Nighttime is hit. Put our little bit of fuel on this bad boy. And two should be plenty to survive this relatively short night. And after that, we should be able to grab ourselves. At least refine one more of these boards. Store that, uh, I believe, for the ship that we're trying to craft, which is the cargo boat. We need six of those and three ropes. So we have the rope. We just need a little bit of cargo. A little bit of wood. And we will be good to go. Uh, we can also craft ourselves. I saw. I just. I just see movement. Or am I crazy? I might be crazy. I hope I'm not though. Uh, I might be. I might be. We're gonna have to put away a lot of this crap. Uh, the pigtails. Ooh, that reminds me. Structure-wise, can we, by chance, wild boar house? We can craft up a wild boar house and actually have it be here, which would be awesome for us. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, stay away from my fire. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit, Mr. Hand. Stay out of here. Uh, we can do that wild boar house, though, and put him a little bit inland. And that way, we will have a very close manure machine. And that is a big plus. So why don't we craft up that wild boar house as soon as the nighttime stops? Uh, because we got enough pigtails for exactly that. And then we can feed them flower petals. We can feed them, I think, seeds work. Any pretty much anything that's not technically food, we can feed them. And uh, they'll eat it. I mean, seeds are food, though. But you, you catch my drift. Anything that isn't, like, conventional food. You know, I mean, you're not ordering, like, some fucking seeds at McDonald's. No, you're ordering some goddamn meat. So, I guess, unconventional. Non-McDonald's food. How about that? I think that works. A little bit. Not really, but we'll say it does. I hate these hands. This is, this is why I hate sandbags. God damn it, this is annoying. Why do you do this to me? Stay away. Stop it. Go away, you meanie cake. Why do I put up with this? Really, why? Stay. There we go, that's gone. Let's go ahead and craft up that wild boar house because that will actually save us a little bit of a, uh, little bit of stuff in regards to it'll get rid of the bamboo and that in our house. And we can actually place a wild boar house down. The question is where? The answer is a little bit more inland. I don't want, I want this to be as inland as possible so when flooding season begins, hopefully it isn't too affected by that, so best place would probably be right there. Warehouse, I hope you don't, if it helps, I hope nothing bad happens to you. Alright, Mr. Pigman, Mr. Pigman, I got something. Oh yeah, watch out, there's some spiders up there. Just letting you know, there are some spiders, just I want you to be aware of that. A little bit careful, we can make ourselves a bird trap as well, and actually mess around with that, and by mess around, I mean we can't... Where'd I put that axe? Did I not just have an axe on myself? I thought I did. Let's use this 1% axe then, since everyone wanted me to do so. Poo, it's gone. Uh, honestly, let's just get the shovel and dig up some of these stumps. Ain't no one want these stumps lying about. Uh, we can take the pine cones, plant those out and about. Uh, this is an axe. That has 5%. I mean, hey, this shit adds up, right? Oh, we got some more logs there. Beautiful, this might be enough to craft up those two more boards that we needed. We need some food as well. We do not have the filler necessary. God, actually, Jake. No, 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 no. Didn't want to dig it up. Did not want to dig that up. That is not what I wanted. No. Bad. Uh, let's just break this. There we go. And get these berries. And we should be able to do that. We need an ice machine, like, ASAP. That would be so clutch. Because right now, we need some filler. Like, we can get the monster meat pretty much any night we decide to. Right now, though... We are in need of some filler to feed ourselves. So if we could get that, that'd be awesome. I know there's a couple things we could cook up with these limpets and shit that we got here. I just gotta remember what the hell it is. We also got some carrots. We got the watermelon. I know there's something interesting you can do with the watermelon. Don't I don't know exactly what, but it's something. I do want to get a little bit of manure here as well. We got these meatballs. 
Let's go ahead and munch up on those. Let's actually put... Then we want to refine these into a couple of boards. And we will store them. And actually, there we go. Put those. I'll put away the seashells wherever we had those stored. Right there. Beautiful. We're up to 10 total. You got us some more seeds. Let's honestly take some of those seeds then. And we'll go ahead and start feeding that pigment. And trying to get us some stuff. Uh, we can, however, take these boards first. Let's craft up this armored boat, shall we? Uh, we just take the rope. We'll put away some snake skin for now. Might as well put away the watermelon. I don't see us doing anything too quickly with that. And uh, nighttime's about to hit, so first things first, I will try and feed this pigman some seeds and get us a little... Mr. You, you are here, right, pigman? Pigman, where the fuck did you go? Pigman? Pigman! Pigman! Oh, what did this dumbass get himself into now? Son of a bitch. No! No! Stay! Ah! So close. So close. Okay, next day. We'll do it next day. For now, though, let's do this. Never mind. We have to be by that, I think. And then we'll do what we were supposed to do, which is craft up a better boat. The cargo boat. And we can go ahead and bring that to sea, and we will have ourselves a boat that can store. That's going to be awesome for some adventures that I plan on embarking upon pretty soon. Uh, this is a good area to have our boat, since it's kind of not too... It's like a little bit of a bay. We can inspect it, and we got ourselves the lantern, which we should be able to craft up to see it. See? Uh, we can put that there and just make sure it stays turned off, right? And then we can also have whatever the hell that is. Some kind of like steering bullshit. I don't know how to steer, man. I can barely drive a car. They expect me to steer. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It was uh, it's some maybe some kind of attachment or something. I don't know. But either way, we got ourselves something nifty there. Uh, with this great amount... Ooh, seeds. With this great amount of shenanigans that we got. The, ooh, we should probably, before nighttime hits, get ourselves a little bit more wood as well. And uh, food. We got one more monster meat. Just that filler is going to kill us. Uh, there's something... We can do monster meat and three limpets, I think, and that should actually do the trick. I hope I didn't mess this up, because that's going to be a waste, but I think it is three limpets and a monster. Or it might have been three limpets and a filler. And I don't think monster counts as filler. Hey, we got a potato. That's not too shabby. Another thing we might want to do, though, is get a bird trap. No, that is the good stuff. That's that good good. That's what we wanted. Beautiful. Let's munch on that surf and turf. And, ooh, get our health up to 150, sanity up, perfect. And daytimes continue to get shorter. We want to build a bird trap, though. That's a big thing I want to do here, a bird trap to capture some winged beasts. We just got to get a couple more twigs, which we are admittedly quite short on. So let's do our best here. Let's unequip that shovel. A lot of empty inventory room now. We'll plant a couple more of these seeds. Continue getting these. Feed the pigment up there. We do have to watch out, though, because I think every, like, full moon or something, they become absolute savages. And uh, you don't want to be near them. Not really. But, like I said, continue getting these. We got those spiders up there. Like I said, just every night, we should just kind of check on them and, you know, just kind of murder them a little bit. Make sure to keep them in check. We don't want that becoming a level 3 uh, spider den, because then there's the potential it becomes a queen spider den. And when that happens, we got to deal with the queen. Ain't nobody trying to deal with the queen. All right, I can tell you that right now. We got these seven silk that we can mess with, though. This uh, top hat. We don't really have to keep it on right now. Our sanity is doing okay. So, honestly, might not, might as well not waste the uh, durability on that. We can, with our survival craft up, a bird trap to capture a winged beast. And we also want to do a bird cage, I believe it is called. Let us, very quickly, make sure that we don't die to that. Uh, what I was thinking about, though, is the bird cage. That is going to be under food, I think? No. Survi it is, is it survival? Is it structure? It might be a structure that I'm thinking of. The bird cage. Ah, uh, yes, the bird cage. For that, we need six gold. We're in dire need of gold then, because that bird cage will let us, if we ever get another dragon fruit, we can feed it to the bird, and we can get ourselves something a little bit better. AKA, we can get ourselves some, uh, some seeds to replant into dragon fruit and have dragon fruit pie for days, which would be absolutely amazing. So, that is what I would want. What is that noise? That's some, that better be something growing. Uh, we got ourselves two more limpets. If we can get a third limpet as we begin our adventures, I think we'll embark upon them tomorrow, maybe. So just make sure we have a pretty uh, just empty inventory in regards to stuff that we do and do not want to carry with us. 
Uh, before we leave, we should cook up some pretty good food. We'll bring the snakeskin in hand in case it rains. Uh, we will leave behind... Well, first things first, I do want to be close to this. There's some survival things we can craft, like a fishing rod. Not too shabby. And we have the silk for that. So actually, in the comment section down below, I'm going to give you guys a choice here. Because I do like to involve you guys within what we are doing here in this awesome Let's Play. And uh, what should we do with this silk? Do we save it? Do we craft up a fishing rod? Do we craft up a bird trap? Or do we, do we craft up both? Or do we do something completely different? Because I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, bird, I mean, the fishing rod might be good so we can get ourselves some whatever you call the uh, the thing with the stuff. I don't know if you can use the net in the ocean like catch a jellyfish. Maybe. Tropical parasol something a lot of you guys have been suggesting. Umbrella wouldn't be too shabby. Healing salve, maybe craft up a couple of those. Another, get some anti-venom ready. Bring that in our adventures now that I think about it. So maybe one more day of prep. Uh, actually, uh, we're short on some seaweed for the anti-venoms. So uh, we can build the anti-venom anywhere, though. We don't have to prototype it. So honestly, as long as we bring the venom gland with us, if that sounds pretty reasonable, we'll bring the venom gland with us. We'll bring some rocks and then... No, that's that's wrong thing. That's healing salve I'm thinking of. We could bring that as well. We probably want to bring a couple of those, especially since I do want to pick a little bit of a fight with uh, the gearbox monster. Get some gears. That's a big thing I want to do. And I think we're going to be sailing west, to be honest. You know, because there's a good chunk of unexplored territory there, and we're going to go on our cargo boat and see how everything goes. So I think at day 40 will mark the day that we embark, especially since this gives the daytime, day-night cycle a little bit more time to flesh out and get a little bit longer which i don't mind and then we can spend tomorrow getting hopefully some more poop and planting some more seeds and whatnot uh days are still about the same here so i'm gonna go ahead and hopefully remember to know what to do and we got ourselves what is it like two carrots a watermelon uh two limpets two seaweed and just trying to remember something good that we can cook up with this Hopefully, I do not fail you guys. That's all I can say. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me for this episode, though. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, as always. And hopefully, I'll see you next one.